Hey folks, Dino here again. This time take a look at the um, reissues of the Tonson Art Toys uh, headsets. This is the Primitive Prince, um, otherwise known as Base Form Vegeta. <laughs> and yeah, uh, after I got the Majin Vegeta uh, sets, I, I, I realised like I had missed out on the originals. Um, so yeah, when I heard that Tonson Art were remaking them with uh, better quality control, I put in a pre-order straight away. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's take a look, shall we? So this is the box. Small box, um, decent enough. It's a little bit battered because it came all the way from China. What can you do with that? Nice picture on the front. Um, it shows... Uh, Vegeta during the Saiyan Saga, which unfortunately I don't really have a figure for anymore. I've got the 1.0, um, got rid of the 2.0, so I can't really show that body with him, I'm afraid. Yeah, um, just in the back, you've got legalese and please use a hairdryer or hot water to heat before use. Please heed this warning. These heads are very difficult to put on. Um, if you don't, you risk snapping the peg. So yeah, the, it's not that they're tight, it's the material that they've used is quite hard. Um, so yeah, not much else to see on the box. It gets the job done. Not much else to it. <laughs> um, so in terms of the faces that you get, um, you get the standard sort of scowl. That Vegeta is well known for. Um, yeah, the original Tonson Art toys, the faces looked kind of squished, um, but they've sort of solved that by moving the eyes up a little. And yeah, I'm, I'm saying it right now, this is the best likeness to Vegeta that we've ever had in figure arts. Like, Tamashi can do whatever they, they can, they are never going to match these. Like, even the new Namek Vegeta that we're getting, I'm telling you right now, doesn't come close to these. <laughs> um, you also get a smirk, which uh, is, I think, a unique sculpt. Hold on. Um, I bought two of these heads... I didn't really want the Super Saiyan God or the Blue Evolution because they weren't sort of metallic here. Um, but yeah, you look at these two smirks. This smirk is a different sculpt to the Super Saiyan. So yeah. Um, I'm not sure which one I, I prefer, I'll be honest. But yeah, still looks really good. Um, it's got that cocky grin that Vegeta is always known for. Um, we have the sort of angry "I'm going to destroy you" face. Very nice. We have yelling, powering up, or doing an attack face. Again, really well done, uh, especially this one because of the paint apps in the mouth. Comes across really good. Um, not seeing much in the way of defects in the paint. You also get this as a unique face, uh, face which is Vegeta going Uzaru or Great Ape. Whichever one you want to call it. <laughs> um, looks really good. The red in the eyes looks really good as well. It's even got the teeth. So he does look a bit like Dracula. But <laughs> um, yeah, does look nice. And finally, you get a fun face. Which I'm a bit disappointed didn't come with Majin Vegeta. Um, was the getting socked in the jaw face. Which, quite funnily enough, you actually see each knuckle. So yeah, you can have 
like Goku punching him in the face. Which they are coming out with a Goku um, headset to match the Vegeta. Um, not sure which ones they'll be doing, whether it's just Super Saiyan or Blue or what have you. But yeah, um, the Goku also comes with that same sort of face on the other side. So you can have them punching each other. <laughs> and finally, you come with a spare neck peg. Because some of the demoniacal fit figures um, obviously have smaller necks. So yeah. Um, but yeah, but what else really to say? It's, it's an amazing looking figure. I have to give them props. Um, yeah. I, I do love that the, the eyes are a bit higher up so he doesn't look as squished but these are amazing amazing face sculpts the only thing I will say is the hair almost seems a bit too splayed out for my liking and um, this is also almost like Super Vegeta levels of hair that he's got <laughs> um, but it, it's nice um, obviously compared to where is he? the Majin Vegeta I think the Majin Vegeta actually has a better front bang head sculpt than um, these heads do but then they were trying to get across Super Saiyan 2 nature of the Majin form so yeah I can see why they went with different sculpts to be honest but yeah, um, all in all, definitely a headset I would recommend. Um, let's quickly just show some of the faces on him, shall we? So here he is with the smirk. And yeah, that, that's just quintessentially Vegeta, isn't it? <laughs> that looks amazing. Um, I think the, the base form looks particularly good on the reissue body um, I'll do some quick sort of head swaps in a separate video as I always do um, I don't like to rush things like that so yeah um, swapping the heads is pretty much the exact same way you do as any normal figure arts just a couple of pegs um, you pop it on and there you go <laughs> that looks funny I do like that um, okay, on. this one's a bit tight once it goes in um, there's the going grey tape And here is the little Gwyn. There we go. The angry, teeth gritted face, which looks really good. Um, I think actually the are the paint apps on mine a bit off. I don't think those um marks should be on his nose, should they? <laughs> um, they should be on the side. Oh well, it's not um, as perfect quality control as I thought it was, but still looks good nonetheless. And finally, there's the angry face on, which looks really good as well. So yeah, um, as I said, I'll do a quick video showing the head on different bodies and obviously I'll do the exact same with the Super Saiyan head but yeah guys um, all in all while they are back and readily in stock I would definitely grab this uh, set and grab any ones that you think 
you need or want. <laughs> um, like I said, I would have got the Super Saiyan God and the Super Saiyan Blue um, Evolved Heads if they would have made them metallic. So if they do come out with the version, even if they make another Super Saiyan version metallic, like if they match the Majin Vegeta colour, I'm all over that. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, that'll do it for this video. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you all later.